Inside number nine um, was on um, Sunday Night Live. Uh, I, I watched it on the iPlayer, so I think I, I lost I. some As of the I. So I think we lost some of the sort of... We did. Um, I managed to avoid Twitter, though. I didn't see I any... didn't. Yeah, I watched, it the, I watched it Monday when I came home from work. I'm assuming I knew, Gary I knew they'd the done same. something, but I wasn't aware no, of what I, they'd to done. Be, until to be honest, I didn't know it. I, I didn't know anything. Mm-hmm. So ba- the basic premise, I'll run it through, is it was set up as a live episode of Inside Number 9, and it starts with, you know, your normal premise, like you think you're watching a normal Inside Number 9. I know there's not anything like a normal episode of Inside Number 9, but you're watching like this man has found a mobile phone and and there's hints that something else may be afoot about sort of five minutes in no, the sound nine starts. nine minutes in. Ah, nine minutes in yeah. the sound started to go. Um and and I, I at the time was thinking, Oh, it's a shame that the sound's gone the first time it happened. The second time it happened, I was like, Now hang on. And then it goes sort of to blank and you get the yeah, yeah and the sort of what would you call it the fault screen Conti- yeah, continuity so, announcer yeah saying stick with us and then they they put on a quiet night in favorite episode of series one and an all an all silent episode because after the sound went and then you go back to you in the sort of thing of um quiet night in you see these sort of figures pop up at the window in that episode, and then it goes back to the the vault screen and the continuity announcer, and then from there it goes really weird and deep, and you see um, Stephen Reese in the dressing room live because you can, you know, they're watching the news and stuff on ITV. <sighs> Find it. Yeah. Um, so basically, he said uh, if they can fix the sound, there's a possibility we can go on at. 11 o'clock tonight. We'll start again. Yeah. Pathetic. But that would mean bumping the ring and he's not sure that they're all and plus Fuck. he doesn't think they're going to fix it. So. What a fucking... Why didn't they just cut to the repeat to the rehearsal one? Hey. Eh? Plowman said if there was a problem they would just use the rehearsal one and film this afternoon. But no one would know it was live then, would they? <sighs> it's not even Halloween. Has to do a Halloween special. Oh, by the way, it can't actually be on Halloween night. Well, maybe it can now, instead of fucking... Apprentice. God. I knew this would happen. This makes us look stupid. What they're saying on Twitter. I can't get on it, can I? There's no, no signal. There is. There's what? Wi-Fi. There isn't. And there's a card next door. Well, no one told me. Stephanie showed me. Stephanie showed you? Yeah. I can't believe Stephanie Cole can get online with you, Carl. I know. 77-year-old woman. <sighs> oh, um... Adam said that they're going to repeat a quiet night in. What, now? Yeah, it's on now, yeah. Did we get repeat feed? <sighs> I don't know, actually. Good point. Good. Some good's come out of it. You get a bit more of the episode. You get Stephanie Cole, who is who is meant to be the guest star in the episode. She, And, and it's sort of to do with um, a haunting in Granada Studios. There was a, there was yeah. a genuine, genuine haunting in Granada Studios mm. 20 years ago, yeah. I, I, I was, I've been reading about things they were putting down over a week of, yeah. of little hints and things, and and he was on Twitter live during the show. Rishi Smith was. Yeah, it just yeah. felt like something, and I feel like I missed out a little bit by not watching it live. But it was on a Sunday night, and I work on a Monday. I was out annoyingly, and then oh, okay. we and then we caught up with Little Drummer Girl, and just this, and then I admit because we were late, I missed this and thought, well. You'd already watch watched Little Drummer Girl, though. Yeah, Why but my, folks, my folks hadn't, and they're not inside them. Do they, do they not watch it without you? I don't know. We've never tried that. <laughs> uh, okay. uh, uh, I think the one thing that sort of stopped me from being one of the people who sort of turned it off after nine minutes, well done, was, what that, was yeah. that I thought it was an ingenious half hour of TV. It's so brave. It's, it's interesting really good. that none of us saw it live, though, because yeah. I, I feel like that was the key. That was Sunday the night, point. Though. I think it was enjoyable more if you were watching it live yeah, and yeah, going, definitely. what's going on, what's happening? And I sort of felt like it lost something I think something we, were, we were waiting a sort of standard episode of Inside Number 9. There's no reason for us to watch it live sort of thing. 
Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Like, well, yeah, well, I don't the, need the... to watch it live because it's going to, you know, and, and not going to be. It, a... I don't know if you. I, the only thing that I saw that that made me think, ah, oh, this is going to have to be something watch live, is I actually saw the one show episode which was actually featured in the program. It did kind of explain to you in that episode, in that, that they were saying, well, we're not going to tell you what happened, but you need to watch it live. They kind of slightly gave the game away if you watch that episode of the one show. The press they were doing, well, look, we can't tell you what happened, but please watch, you know, and they made a bigger thing about it being live. Yeah, you still didn't. The BBC did. Yeah, you still didn't, even though you saw that episode of the one show. I didn't see Yeah, that. no, I, I did because I, I, I watch American football on Sunday nights. So I've got no shame, you know, apart from, apart from drama. Or well, no I, taste. I, I, so. <laughs> So you, oh, yeah, you, you were watching I TV on Sunday night, but you decided to watch American football instead. Well, I, I always do, so I, I wasn't going to change I was, my plans. I was getting ready for bed lesson. Oh, at like... 10 o'clock. Um, but no, I mean, I think we all really love this. I think this well, was just... No, no, whoa, 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 oh, whoa. Oh, whoa. Who said, who said that? Who said we all loved it? Well, I loved it, and I know Luke loved it, Gary. I, I, I found it far too meta, far too self-referential... And annoying, I'm afraid. I, you know, I know I'm the late. late well, what do you three. What do you mean by meta? Start there. Okay, meta is being, Yeah, meta is being self-referential, and it was a, it was an issue of things like community, where towards the end it just started to sort of like. And some people have said it's some. Why don't you like that though? No. As a one-off episode, I didn't think it needed it. They tried to do something clever, and for me, I don't think it works and i think the thing is because each of us has not seen it live it's very difficult because i think there would have perhaps been a different experience if you're watching it live they, they must have loved it when people said oh i'm turning this off after nine minutes they must have been thinking yeah we've got them but that's not what you want in a television program where you want an audience but when you're doing a television program where you want a rating where you want people to do it i find i found it sort of too 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 clever what's I didn't wrong with think... being clever though that's not what i wanted you don't want clever TV, I, 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 then. You don't want TV that a... pushes the boundaries. You don't want yeah. things like that. You just want to no, sit but... down and watch half an hour of <laughs> well, still open all hours. Go watch explain. still open all hours, then. <laughs> He's going to leave early at this rate. Go, yeah. on, go. Well, if I, if I, if, if, if I can explain, I, th- this is not my experience of previous episodes of Inside Number Nine, and I know I'm later to it than you two, and I know that they like to try to do different things, and each episode is different, and I appreciate that, and they're on a theme... You know, they like to get their points in. I just felt this was too much of that. You know, I found myself looking for the number nine. I found myself looking for the rabbit or whatever it is. And I wasn't taken in by the plot. I think actually the plot was quite shaky. They showed a few old clips of uh, Tommy Boyd and the woman. uh, uh, Who's the woman who does uh, the ghost hunter thing? Of trying to bring in this whole idea. Trying to bring in this idea that they were investigating. I just didn't. I didn't get it. I can understand that to an extent, but I don't agree with the fact that didn't like it because it was clever. I can understand it was disjointed. I suppose. Yes, very but I think if you went in, it was with, trying to be too clever. I think if you went in with expectations, I think that's it. I think if you go in with expectations, mm. I think we did to an extent because we all thought oh, we can skip it and watch it, you know, the next night or whatever. But. For me, I just thought it was so brave. It was so clever. And there was a lot of humour in there. And I loved the... Um, I told you we should have got Pam Effin Ferris. Yeah, um, she's too like busy with Trump. And the... Uh, 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 what, what, um, what, what I could have been carrying a mug of hot tea there. Because I do agree to an extent. I don't think it's one that would require any re-watching. And I've watched Inside Number 9 several... I've watched my favourite episode multiple times and I don't think I'd feel the need to rewatch this. I do think when it did the things with Yvette Fielding, I do think it sort of fell apart and I'm surprised when I looked back at the Twitter uh, stream after I'd seen it, I was surprised how many people still at that point were really confused and didn't know quite whether it was a mistake or real. But again, that might be because you're on the iPlayer and they wouldn't stick it on the iPlayer if it was Mm. wrong and... It was very clever. It was it was a smart idea. It was well executed, but I don't know how much I enjoyed the episode once we got past. Because I think the the, the twist, put, but not not just the twist, just the whole haunting of Granada Studios oh, and all that. I'm surprised at that because I really liked it, and I probably will watch it again just to see 
I think we did lose something in not watching it live. I think yeah. definitely. I think that's a mistake the three of us made that we yeah. can't repeat. Yeah, no, but normally guess... between the normally between the three of us, we we tend to when something is like this. As you say, one of us might watch it on a preview. One of us will normally watch it live, well, and one maybe on I, a catch-up or something. I was for sure Gary would have seen it live. I wonder how much of it was live. I've seen Rishi Smith say, apart from like the clips of Granada and yeah. stuff, well, no, that all like of it was live. Episode, I think twenty, at least twenty minutes was yeah, live because there was the bit in the in the in the thingy room where they actually switched on the TV to show you it was live. You know, they were yeah. watching yeah, the news and like you know he tweeted during saying, you know, are we on TV now? Yeah, and, and that, was like part, that. that was in the plot, wasn't it? Because yeah, there yeah. was an argument about whether there was Wi-Fi. And... Again, it's going to stick with me because of it, because yes. of the nature of it and because of the bravery of it. And I just think there is a lot... If you went back, I think there is a lot of like little Easter eggs and things like that. I didn't think about it too much and let it sweep over me. So I think, you know, I didn't go in with any expectations. I didn't think about it too much. And Regardless what we thought, it. I can't believe people turned off after nine minutes because presumably oh, these people would be Inside Number Nine fans and they would know that Inside well, Number Nine is... A lot of people is... just watch TV to watch TV, to be fair, Luke. Yeah, we, so... we've, said, we've said this before that, you know, there, there are people that only watch certain things at certain times and, as you say, I could see people scrolling through and just like, oh, what's this? Oh, they've gone to continuity. Oh, I'll, I'll come, you know, I'll go, I'll go off. Uh, it's, it's almost like programmed into people, isn't it? Weird. To be fair, like the first time the sound went, I was sort of just doing, uh, is it my iPlayer? Is yeah, it? Yeah. Like, yeah. Has it gone? Or, But yeah, so, I mean, I've just seen someone actually come up on my Facebook that said it was more missed than hit. So, you know, you know, three different opinions. Well, did um, Gary type that? <laughs> no. But, uh, <laughs> but so, yeah, watch it yourself if you haven't already. But we sort of spoiled, we spoiled it completely. Yeah.